Alright, so I'm going to be opening up some chests. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three. Um, now, there's a billion different ways to go about using your donator points. Realistically, this is probably not a good call, <laughs> but we'll see if it's a good call, I suppose. Ten crystal keys. Onyx. Some more crystal keys. A carol set. Uh yeah, that was probably that was probably bad. <laughs> that's that's probably bad. That is awesome. We just got a tanzanite fang drop. Eighty nine kill count. There is the blowpipe. That is cool. That's awesome. Now I just need to get serpent when we're done. Awesome. So I apologize for the weird dimensions, but it's just easier to do Zolrub with uh resizable. If you didn't know, revival has resizable. It's a little weird, but it's it's manageable. It looks pretty good in my opinion, especially for Zora. Nice! I just got a Zenite Shard. That is awesome. That is actually not too long ago from when I got my uh, my blowpipe. That is awesome. So what we're going to do is probably turn that into a, a Necklace of Anguish. I feel like I'd rather have that more than a uh, Torture. Alright, so I just finished my bandit teleport scroll. We killed 826, and this is the loot ah. from 826. And uh, there's John always trolling my videos, unprovoked completely. Uh, so these are mostly medium clues. I think I just got lazy and looted two hards, but uh, mostly going for ranger boots. So yeah, if I get ranger boots, I'll let you know. Actually, I'm going to... John just hooked me up with a DFS and a hatchet. It's we a good song. Left, couldn't clutch it out. No, that is 21 total. No Ranger Boots yet. Rip. All right, so I opened up a bunch of those keys. This is kind of the uh, the loots. Five hard clues, two mediums. Uh, got a bunch of stuff. We'll probably just sell or disassemble. So uh, let's open up these two real quick. Uh, just two mystery boxes. It's a little unfortunate, but, you know, it's whatever. These two chests should be nice. Tyrannical ring and a five dollar one. I was gonna say I was like, I shouldn't that tyrannical ring uh, yell. That's awesome. That's actually really, really, really good. I really like that. That's awesome. Uh, two mystery boxes. I, you know, those are decent items for mystery boxes. I'll take those. Uh, so that puts us at ten dollars donated. I actually kind of want to spend these points, but you know what I'll do? I'll just I'll do that later when I have another bond from Slayer. Of course, my first Armadale item is the Armadale Hilt. That looks so cool. Armadale Hilt has always been one of those items that's like, it's just so cool to get one. So, even though it's not that, you know, that useful on here, especially not for an Iron Man, that's awesome to have. And that is my first uh, armor item at 12kc, so really not that bad at all. Uh, I figured I'd just do some Slayer tasks and whatever I get will uh, do. So, got some armor left. Nice, Joey's we just got an go ACP, you need and I just realized <laughs> this is in the background, so, just a little impractical joke here. I have no clue if that's going to get this video taken down or not, we're going to find out. That's my second Dark Beast pet. D uh, D and I were literally just talking about whether or not you can get a uh, Slayer pet from a boss task. You can! 100% can confirm that now. Uh, yeah, that's that's really cool. I, I wish one of these was on APUG, but, you know, that's still cool. Uh, I got three master caskets. Holy, the the holy gloves. Oh, just 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 all bad, all bad. So John and I just about to do some uh, some nice powerful uh, mutadile, and I noticed that somebody has a prayer pet at home. I'm like, that's cool. So I teleport to Ice Mountain, and apparently the prayer pet is mine. I got prayer pet, and somehow did not notice. When did it even Where? happen? When did that happen? Oh, there I it got is. Prayer yeah, pet. I did. So there's a nice random ass parapet. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, good. So I got 109 uh, paper scraps here. Gonna see what schematic we get. Lucky area schematic. That's not bad. That's good. Yeah, if it that's... yells, it's good, so I'll take it. The question is, do I want to try to keep that? Wow. Do I want to for half the money? Because I wouldn't. Cause it works wait. for the it works for the torture one and then the English one. How well. how much how much does it cost to 1. make a lucky? 1.5 mil lucky components. That's it. Oh, isn't Dude, it lucky. isn't it more for the anguish one though? 
It yeah, says I think one... it's like two something. Let me double check because it'll be on the other. Oh, red. So I have a ton of hard clues. Let's open these up. That's good. These kits. Really, anything that I can disassemble is worth going for. John and I have made Lapa our main goal. So we have a ton of clues to open and efforts to try to get this. That's nice. Two gilded items? Wow. That's nice. Got another gilded. Hoif? Is that the piece we... I think that's the piece we need. I'll have to ask John. I honestly think that that's the piece we need, so that's nice, too. I'd love one third HP. It's just one. I guess that is kind of <laughs> wishful thinking, though. Her... Um... I mean, like, I've done enough clues to where I think I should, like, I mean, come on now. Give me a third HPs. Five left. I feel like I'm yelling, my bad. Get a skimitar. That's cool. Eh, I mean, if not getting a third age, we did get quite a few items. Let me open up these keys, see if I can't get anything else. I'll disassemble them all, and I'll show you what the uh, rewards from that were. Alright, so after all of those clues, it gave us 321 lucky components. Uh, that cost 100 mil, so, you know, 100 mil, 321 lucky components. Uh, so, in total, rocking 878k. Like I said, Ring of Fortune is definitely our first goal. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got 100 paper scraps here. We're about to open them up. I'm hoping for anything that yells. Uh, try to make a Ring of Fortune, so that would be the best thing we could get. Lucky amulet! Alright, I'll take that. That's not bad. Um, sure I wish really I really want to make that. it, but <laughs> I'm just going to sell it. So that is my third Dark Beast pet. Huh. Third Dark really? Beast pet and 33 mil experience. Yep, the Dark Beast pet loves me. Alright, so I just did some more experiments. As you can see, we have a new, a new uh, schematic. Siphon, alright, that's not bad. That's good. Let's, actually, I, you know, I don't even remember how much money that else for. That might get us to what we need. The main thing I'm going for is to get the Ring of Fortune schematic. Just get that out of the way. Nice. That's how much was that thing? That was uh, hundred. Was that hundred fifty? Or maybe like hundred twenty-five. I think. But uh, yeah, so that should give us enough money for the Ring of Fortune schematic. Where are we at in the components? We are. We are almost there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the rest of the money. For clue scrolls, I'm gonna open up these clue scrolls. We might actually be able to get our ring of fortune. Yeah, right here, ring of fortune schematics. We got 73 mil to buy clues. Oh wow! In the process of trying to get enough components, I just got the missile dagger. That's crazy. All right, so it turns out I'm really stupid, and you need 2.5 mil, not 1.5 mil. So we're actually further away than I thought. But uh, yeah, we have the schematic. That is the hardest part. Now it's just a matter of getting some money together to buy a bunch of clues, and uh, we are gonna get this ring of fortune. And then after the ring of fortune. Luck of the pie.